In this video, we will understand about tangents, secants and the theorems related to them. Let's begin with the understanding of circle and its related parts. Circle is defined as the locus, that is, collection of points that are equidistant from the given fixed point. This fixed point is commonly called as center of the circle. The line segment formed by joining this fixed point to any point on the circumference of the circle is called radius. Whereas the line segment formed by joining any two points on the circumference of the circle forms code. The longest code in the circle passes through the center and is known as the diameter of the circle. Diameter divides the circle into two halves known as semicircles. Mathematically diameter is twice of radius. Next is secant. The word secant is derived from the Latin word secare which means to cut. Thus secant is a line that intersects the circle at two distinct points. Next part of the circle is called sector and is defined as area bounded by two radii making angle at the center of the circle. Consider a circle with center O. Let A and B be the points on the circumference of the circle. Now join OA and OB making some angle theta at the center. This closed area OABO is known as the sector. But what about the remaining area? What is it? The answer to this question is still the sector. To remove the confusion, which sector is considered? These are classified as major sector and minor sector. As the name suggests, the sector with large area is called major sector and the sector with less area is known as minor sector. Mathematically to distinguish them, a point is considered on both minor and major sectors. For example, consider a point X on the major sector and point Y on the minor sector. Now the major sector is denoted as OAXBO whereas the minor sector is denoted as OAYBO. Next is segment of a circle. It is defined as a region that is enclosed by a code and an arc. The region that has large area is called major segment whereas the region with less area is known as minor segment. Moving to next part of the circle is tangent. Tangent is derived from the Latin word tangere which means to touch. Thus tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. It should be noted that no tangent line can be drawn through a point inside a circle. However, two tangent lines can be drawn to a circle from a point outside the circle. Since circle contains infinite distinct points on the circumference, therefore infinite tangents can be drawn to a circle. The point which is common to tangent and the circle is called the point of contact. The line containing the radius through the point of contact is also called normal to the circle. As tangent is a line, thus it can be extended infinitely in both directions. So a question arises, what should be the length of a tangent to a circle? Will it be infinite? The answer to this question is no. Length of the tangent is considered from the initial point till it meets the circle at a fixed point known as point of contact. Consider a tangent AB to the given circle. Let P be the point of contact where tangent touches the circle. If A is the initial point of the tangent, then the length of the tangent will be considered from point A to point P. Whereas, if the initial point is considered as point B, then the length of the tangent will be treated from point B to point of contact that is P. Tangents are highly useful in studying the circular motion. So let's understand and prove some important theorems related to the tangents and secants to a circle. Theorem 1 states that any tangent drawn to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact. To prove this, consider a circle with center O. Let AB be the tangent to a circle touching at point P. Now join point O to point P. As per the theorem, we need to prove angle OPB equals 90 degree. To prove this, consider a point R on the tangent. Join point O to point R. Since length of segment OR is greater than segment OP, therefore using the fact that the shortest distance is always perpendicular, thus we conclude OP is perpendicular to the tangent AB. Moving on to the next theorem. Theorem 2 states that the length of the tangents drawn from the same external point to a circle are equal. Consider a circle with center O and an external point P. Two tangents PQ and PR are drawn from this external point. To prove length of tangent PQ equals tangent PR, join external point P to the center of the circle O. Using theorem, any tangent drawn to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact. Thus angle PQO and PRO equals 90 degree. Now in triangle PQO and PRO, 
OP is the common side. Angle PQO equals PRO each 90 degree. Segment OQ equals segment OR each radii. Therefore, by RHS congruency, triangle PQO is congruent to triangle PRO. Therefore, by corresponding parts of congruent triangle, segment PQ equals segment PR. Hence, the theorem is proved. Moving on to the next theorem that is alternate segment theorem. This theorem is also known as tangent code theorem and states that in any circle, the angle between a tangent and a code through the point of contact of the tangent is equal to the angle found by the same code in the alternate segment. To prove this, consider a circle with center O. Let xy be the tangent to a circle touching point P on the circle. From this point B, construct a code AB making angle 1 with the tangent. Now consider any point C on the alternate segment making angle 2 by joining C to point A and B respectively. Now to prove angle 1 equals angle 2, join center point O to point A and B. Since angle AOB and angle 2 is formed by the same arc, therefore by using the theorem, angle subtended by the arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. We conclude angle AOB is twice of angle 2. Also, any tangent drawn to the circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact, therefore angle OBX equals 90 degree. From figure, angle OBA equals 90 minus angle 1. As segment OA and OB both are radii and hence are equal, therefore triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle. Since base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, therefore angle OAB equals angle OBA. Now by using angle sum property in triangle AOB we get angle OAB plus angle OBA plus angle OAB equals 180 degree. As angle OAB equals angle OBA, thus this equation can be represented as twice of angle OBA plus angle AOB equals 180 degree. Putting the value of angle OBA and angle AOB in this equation we get. Taking 2 as common factor, this equation reduces to twice of 90 minus angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180 degree. On transposing we get 90 minus angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 90 degree. On further simplification we get minus angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 0 degree. On transposing we get angle 1 equals angle 2. Hence the theorem is verified. Next theorem is tangent secant theorem. This theorem establishes the relationship between the length of the tangent and secant of a circle. The theorem states that when a tangent and a secant is drawn from the same external point, the square of the length of the tangent is equal to the product of the length of the whole secant segment and the external segment of the secant. To prove this, consider a circle with center O and an external point P. From this point P, a tangent PT and a secant PR is produced, intersecting point Q on the circle. Let S be the point of contact of the tangent on the circle. To prove the square of line segment PS equals the product of line segment PR and PQ, join point Q to S and point S to R. Now in triangle PSR and triangle PQS, angle P is the common angle. Angle PSQ equals angle SRQ by alternate segment theorem. Therefore by angle angle axiom, triangle PSQ is similar to triangle PSR. Since corresponding sides in a similar triangle are proportional, Therefore, the ratio of line segments PS to PR equals the ratio of line segment PQ to PS. On cross multiplication, we get square of PS equals product of PR into PQ. Hence, the theorem is verified. So, this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.